Hello everyone, it's Dr. Desiree Alexander, aka Educator Alexander, and here's your five minute tip for this week. So we're talking about YouTube today, and I wanna show you how you can use filters to find the exact video that you're looking for, and how you can use playlists to keep them all organized. Let's get started. Don't forget to click the thumbs up to like this video, and click subscribe to subscribe to the channel. Okay, so if I'm searching for, let's say cat videos, we all love a cat video, right? So I'm searching for a cat video, but I'm looking for one that was done, you know, a little bit sooner than a year. 12 hours is pretty quick. Uh, four years, that kind of thing. So then I can click on filters. And I can say I'm looking for ones that were just uploaded this month. So now these are going to be more recent. I can also come back here to filters and say I'm looking for one that's under four minutes long. So every time you want to filter, you do have to come and click back on filter but it will help you find a video that is kind of exactly on what you're looking for. So I'm looking for one with subtitles because I want to make sure that it has closed caption. So there you go. You just keep using filter. Now, when I want to use playlists, the whole point of a playlist is that you can organize your videos and then you can share the whole playlist with your students. So if you're like, hey, I want y'all to watch these five videos, instead of posting them separately, let's say on Google Classroom or Microsoft Teams or whatever, you can actually come here, make a playlist and just post one link and they'll see all of the videos. So how do I create a playlist? Well, the first thing you're going to do is find whatever video you actually want to use. So let's say I want to use this video. So great. I want this video to be on my playlist. So I can come here and click save and then create a new playlist. So this playlist is going to be called five minute tip YouTube playlist, but I can't spell today. Okay, there you go. And you see that it's private. So if you keep it private, you'll be the only one that can see it. So of course, if I'm just like, organizing my own videos then it's perfect to keep it private no one can see my playlist but if i want my students to see it i'm probably going to change it to unlisted so that means as long as you have the link you can see it or you can just make it public and then other people can get your playlist too so i'm going to use unlisted for mine and i'm going to hit create so now that i've created the playlist this video you see right here added five minute tip it's already added so if I find any other videos I want to add, I'm going to go back to the home page. If I find any other videos I want to add, I can just simply come here to the three dots and save to playlist. And it's going to say, well, which one? I want to save it to this one. And it is automatically done. There is no save. You don't have to look. Like you just click it. And I want to add it to this playlist too. How about them apples? So there you go. You can just add. Or of course, if you go ahead and open up a video, is going to be the same thing. So you're gonna come here to save and then choose the one that you already have. If you're looking at the videos on this side, it's the same, three dots, save to playlist. Now, when you're interested in going to your playlist, it should be listed right here on the side. You may have to click show more, which most of your playlist will show right here. If for some reason you don't see it on the side, you can always click on your little icon up here and go to YouTube Studio. So YouTube Studio will have all of your playlists. You can just click on playlist and here you can edit them and do all that kind of stuff. So now I want to share my playlist with someone else. So I'm going to come here and click on the little edit button for the playlist. And it's going to bring me to the entire playlist. That's how I get the share button for the entire playlist. And you see how it says playlist in there? That's how you get it for the whole thing. If I just came here and clicked on five minute tip playlist, oh well, let's say like I'm in the playlist and I'm like, oh, these are all the videos. If you come here and just share, you're only sharing this one. So you wanna make sure that you can share the entire playlist and this is how it's going to look. So if you're sharing it correctly, it's gonna look like this and you click the little share button and here's your link or you know, all the other ways you can share. Okay, there you go. Uh, but you can click the link and then I can send this out off to someone. I don't, I don't know if I, oh, I did copy it. And now they're getting the entire playlist so they can just go and find all the videos that you want them to watch. You can also put a description, like you can put some directions right here. When you watch the video, blah, 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 blah. Um, you can change the title. 
you can come here and add more videos and all kinds of stuff here and you can change it from unlisted to public or whatever so you have all of your different features right here to get this playlist out to your students or to whoever you want to get it to so there you go you have learned how to use filtering to help you find that one magical video that you're looking for and how to do playlists so you don't have to post a thousand videos you can just make one playlist and have one link good luck